sorry about that we were recording audio so we're gonna continue uh, we just labeled this part two and we we're nine minutes in because we started at 11. um so we have our greatest splashing nerve providing innovation sympathetic innovation to the esophagus okay down here and we're gonna have a parasympathetic innovation from the vagus nerve and the vagus nerve is this oh, okay not you i know you're right around here somewhere so we'll see the vagus nerve on the left so it runs right next to the esophagus and what's important to know that so this is the left vagus nerve and the reason why we couldn't see the vagus nerve on the right is that i think it might be this one nope so we have our left going all the way down and it will supply parasympathetic innovation to the esophagus now greater splashnik sympathetic vagus parasympathetic all right now let's turn our attention around the back spin this model and now we have a much better view of the vagus nerve of the right because we couldn't see it and what's important to know or what i was trying to make earlier is that the right thoracic you know what, what am i talking about the right vagus nerve runs posterior to the esophagus it runs posterior to the esophagus and it goes all the way down and joins the celiac uh, trunk or plexus or something like that but um we have our left vagus nerve where did it go this one so our left vagus nerve will run to the side of the esophagus to the left side yeah it's in its name right left yeah this is my left left side and run all the way down because we're looking posteriorly and you see how it looks like it connects to the esophagus now that's wrong it, it wouldn't go in there because then our food would just run through the nerve unless it's in the mucosa or the um, epithelium or something uh muscularis external no yeah too. let's stay on track so we have our right vagus nerve running posterior to the esophagus and we have our left vagus nerve which will run right now it looks posterior but once it gets down to close to the abdominal part it will branch or curve anteriorly and that's what she meant when she said it has anterior and posterior branch so if we decided to take this away our digestive tract we have just our bare bone vagus nerve going down spiraling in front of the ossificus then becoming the have given up the anterior vagal trunk right then you have the anterior vagal trunk or branch which will then give off the gastric ones and uh hepatic ones but we are not there yet so we're gonna end right there so it gives off the anterior portion left vagus nerve and posterior where were you I think you yeah lost you but oh, there you are vagus nerve right it will come all the way down and if i let go of the left one you see the right one is still highlighted it's still posterior to the esophagus and it'll give up the posterior vagal trunk and the posterior vagal trunk will give the celiac branch of posterior vagal trunk and other branches off of it probably spleen and gastric still and then it will join this cilia ganglion down here where you have your greater splashnik splanchnik nerve going in to join the cilia ganglion you have a posterior vagal trunk coming off of our right vagal trunk going in to join at the celiac branch of the posterior vagal trunk into our cilia ganglion and we have our greater splashnik neck on the left on the left and i'm not sure or oh i'm literally in it no i'm not in it it will be you yeah left vagal nerve, nerve that 
does not connect to the celiac trunk, I don't believe. Well, good to know. So, there you have it for innovations. We can pop this one back on. And you know our right vagal nerve, vagus nerve will run behind it. And our left will run in front of it. Because it comes from the side and curves in front of it. So, anywho, we will back up. And I will complete our so that's six minutes. Uh, everything for our esophagus. Uh, prize potato for or the current learning joiner. Okay. So one thing she did say is that it could be vagus nerve or recurrent learning joint nerve. So for parasympathetic innervation, so we just locate the paras uh, recurrent learning joint nerve, which is. Dang it, I wanted to do a first try right here. And recurrent laryngeal nerve, uh, this is the left recurrent laryngeal nerve. And you see this loop here? This is the aorta. This is the abdominal aorta arching over it. So on the left side, the recurrent laryngeal will loop under the aorta. And it's not symmetric on the right side because there's no two aortas. It's only one. And there's phrenic. Let me find you. Let me find you. Yep, there it is. Recurrent laryngeal nerve on the right. And you see how the left one goes all the way down and loops down around the aorta. The right one, and not symmetric, will loop around the Think the subclavian on the right, the right subclavian artery, which obviously comes off the the other. So you have the right recurrent laryngeal uh, looping under the subclavian, and it's not symmetrical to the left. So that will also give off um, what do you call it? Parasympathetic innovation to the also, I guess. All right, we have these two ones. Now, let's see. Vagus nerve connects to the. So, you know that um, recurrent laryngeal nerve comes off the vagus nerve. So, it's either the vagus nerve giving off innervation or a branch off of the vagus nerve giving off the innervation. And this would be the same. Let me find the vagus nerve. In the, what am I holding on to then? Okay current laryngeal and that will come off the vague on the left so we know they both come off the vagus on each side it's just that how they route around the body is different and um we have only two so i guess we could spare our arteries and as we said this is our recurrent laryngeal on the right and it's going under the subclavian or the brachiocephalic right around that junction so it just loops under it and you have our ginormous aorta going off of the superior mediastinum uh the superior part of the heart the superior mediastinum just branches down and um you have your recurrent laryngeal nerve right here gimme 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 so yep looping under it going up so the vagus gives it off, goes up length. Um, and as we said, if this one is cut, you get horsiness. And I still haven't looked up what horsiness sounds like, but I imagine it sounding like this instead of this. <laughs> Anywho, that will complete our um, innovation. And yep, how much time did we add on? Oh, six. Now it's 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. So it's short. You guys can save time. Watch out two times speed. You know, um, all that good stuff. Uh, get it out of the way, I think. Is there something that I wanted to say? Carl and Joe. Da da da. Uh, no, I can't seem to remember. Okay. 
Well, happy studying. Thank <music> you.